um, it was a <laughs> fun flirty headline I read before walking into the studio today. Uh, but first, Chris Lee doesn't know best, Jabes. No. No. Boy, this turned out almost exactly the way I envisioned it. Right. But with so much more. Like there was just so much, there was one extra layer where I was like, all right, cool. I know these guys are probably embezzling money and whatever the fuck they're doing. And they don't really live in Atlanta. Uh, they were living in Nashville for most of that time. And, mm -hmm. and then they had this house that they shot at because Georgia offers an amazing tax break there as far as filming goes. And, uh, and I knew that area pretty well because uh, it's, it's pretty close to where I grew up. And I was like, man, they're definitely not living there full time. No. Uh, and they weren't. So as it turns out, uh, they were embezzling money um, with their financial advisor, and uh, it was about $30 million that they were able to get out of small banks. So they weren't going into Bank of America or Wells Fargo or whatever. You know those weird banks you pass like on, on uh, side streets where you're like, ah, what is the First Nation of... Liberty uh, time. Liberty uh, today. Liberty what's, today, yeah. What's the First Nation of Liberty today? <laughs> It's a small, like, mom and pop bank. They're trying to make shit happen, trying to give uh, loans to small businesses in your area. For the most part, they're trying to do uh, right by people in the community. Um, those are the ones that, that got defrauded in this. It was the small mom and pop yeah. places. And then what yeah. they did was file for bankruptcy once they got $30 million in debt. And that, that filing for bankruptcy uh, allowed them at the time to wipe off $20 million in debt off the books um, because it was like, well, we're bankrupt, sorry. And that happens all the time um, with businesses and, and things like that. So it's an easy way out of lawsuits and everything else, unless you're doing it illegally, right? Um, turns out the businesses weren't real, and the feds were able to get his financial advisor to flip on the family. And that's husband and wife, by the way. Yes. It's not just Todd Chrisley. It's also the wife. What's her name? Julie. Oh, is it Ju it's Julie? Julie. And in the show, mm. which this is going to tie into something you may reveal in a second, but sure. in the show, he is just so hot for Julie. <laughs> I mean, he cannot keep his hand. He never actually puts his hands on her. He just talks about yep. wanting to. Yeah. And then there's always a part at the end of the show where they get into bed. Mm -hmm. She's got her full, like, old man yeah. um, pajama set. Yeah. He has his matching and they just go, kids, get out. We, we want to have sex. <laughs> and then it ends. Because I am so hot for Julie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this, this spawned the infamous line from this show that's probably one of the most famous catchphrases you've ever had uh -huh. on this was, I love. Oh, I love pussy. <laughs> but also, I'm not gay. I'm just from Atlanta. Yeah. Now, yeah. this also... <laughs> ties in because people have always said because when people are like um he's like gay right they're like no there's a lot of like you know guys from Atlanta that are just very effeminate it's sort of a thing and I was like yeah I mean that's it it tracks right he has a bunch of kids he's super hot for his wife Julie and he just likes fashion and you know what I mean um, fashion and Botox and he's openly, you know, talking about all the work he's got done. And the fact that Rob's not here is disappointing because he has a great impression of, uh, Chris Lee, Chris Lee, because we did a, a comedy album a few years ago called, uh, spare bedroom, uh, no free plugs, but sure. Oh, <clears throat> sure. where can we you find it? Where, where can we find this spare bedroom? Cause we're gonna, it was on, uh, I oh. know it was on, a. Apple, so you can find it. Uh, oh, okay, on spare iTunes? bedroom, guys. All right. All right. Spare. Are we bedroom. allowed to play a yeah, clip yeah, yeah, of yeah. spare bedroom I'll, on the show? You guys find... own the rights, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I made the whole thing, so I'm gonna try to find a clip of him speaking as Chris Lee, uh, oh. and then stay tuned. Okay, cool, oh. cool. Um, and then we'll we'll play Love it live it. on air, and we'll give you the free plug for that. Do you guys actually see the money for that? Or is no, it... no, no. This, I mean, we made like virtually no money. That's not it. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's I'm... another spare bedroom. Yeah, album. it's another spare bedroom album. <laughs> Looking forward to it, but yeah. I, I can envision him having sex with his wife and then crying as soon as he came, where he was just like, oh, we did it, right? And we're done? Yeah. We're all done here? I think the <sighs> amount of kids he has is the amount of time they've had. To, do you know what I mean? Like four times. It's a miracle. Um, it's a but, miracle. But yeah, he's, he's just... So the Fed's got his financial advisor to flip yep. because he was fucking him. 
Uh, An intimate so relationship. They were, yeah, well, they were fucking. It was just two grown men yeah. fucking. Two grown men having sex together, laying on top of each other. Sure. Um, in various positions, nude, mm. sweaty, oiled up. Uh, they were having gay man-on-man sex. And, uh, and he was spurned. He was spurned by it because Todd kept going back to his wife and, uh, and then having this family. And he felt like... Uh, a jilted lover in this sitch. Mm. So the feds knew that. Mm -hmm. They got him to flip on Todd, uh, and they gave him full immunity in exchange for uh, what Todd and his wife, Julie, Mm. really did, which was defrauding uh, for for $30 million. And uh, and they're going away for a while. Uh, So they were found guilty on all counts. And the sentencing is coming up in a few months, and they're looking at 30 years. Right, which they won't get. I think at a minimum, they'll probably get five, right? I think maybe they'll do separate, kind of like a Teresa Judice situation where, like, mm. he'll get the bulk, maybe three to five, serve two. She'll get, like, one and serve, like, you know what I mean? Sure. Or two years and get, like, 18 months or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, but yes, I think, I don't know if they're going to be charged totally together because she very easily can be like, I don't know, you know, right? I just sign what's put in front of me. So that's what both of them said during this trial. Right, and they're blaming him. Right, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all over now, and they've been convicted. So now it's up to the judge to determine who's going to get what in this sitch. And usually in a situation like that, one person has to stand out and be the prominent figure and be like, my wife didn't know about this or whatever. In the case of the two of these fucks, I don't know if he'll do that. I don't know if they can because she actually has stuff under her name as well. So, like, she got fraudulent stuff. And, what, and what, well, or whatever. well, what they were alleging was you can get more money if you're splitting it up and putting it into two yes. different people's names. Yes. Um, so, and if she's signing something. Right. You know, it's harder to be like, look, I, I'm married to him. I, my name's not on, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's easier to do that than if you're actually actively going in and getting the weird loans yourself. Sure, sure. Uh, which apparently she did. Um, and they have young-ish kids. They, I think they have one minor kid, maybe two. So they may be able to serve separately, kind of like a Teresa. So like maybe. one goes in, yeah. then when they're done, blah, blah, blah. Or they may just be like, fuck you guys, and send them away. I, I kind of no like idea. to see a reality show of just the baby on its own, where they leave the, the two-year-old, and they have a reality show about the two-year-old raising itself. Now, that oh, I'm all that in for. It would be a blast. And it could be like, Grayson knows everything. Yeah, he knows where the dog bowl is. Right. And he pulls out a little dog bowl, puts some cereal in it, and just eats right off the ground. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. And I'd be all in for that. i tune in for that. I also don't think they're not taking any of the shows off USA. I think they're still, I mean, Chris Lee keeps the lights on over there. So I do think they still, they haven't taken anything off. Well, here's the, here's the weirdest thing. So I, I looked up uh, both of their series because the kids have their own series too. Right. And then the neither have been has canceled. another one. Yeah. Both of them got picked up for new seasons. And you're, if you're going to tell me that the fucking producers and the networks didn't know that these motherfuckers were going away, like, of course you did. Yeah. Same with uh, Teresa, what are we calling it? Judice. Judice. Okay, what's the what's her fucking real name? Teresa. Gun to head. Tell tell us her real name right now. You would say Judice or Judice. It's spelled G U I D A N C E, right? Uh, I don't know. Guidis. Why can't we just call them Guidis, dude? No, dude. Because they're Italian. We can't say that. Yeah, but the well, whole. Well, I don't want for me. I'm the Italian. The whole point of an Italian name is because they sound so fucking awesome right. like that. Why would you change it to something that sounds like? French or kind of Caribbean. Judice is pretty fucking. But they don't go by Judice. They, they go do... by Judas. Judice, yeah. yeah. What the fuck is that? Judice? Jesse. I don't know, dude. I don't know the answer to these questions. Jesse? Judice? Yeah. 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 Is that yeah. a dreidel? Yeah, I don't know. Where, uh, I don't know where I'm supposed Giorgio, to go. Giorgio <laughs> uh, said that, so you can come after just Giorgio on Instagram for that. But I'm sorry, so- I just got here and I'm really high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. he has not been here. He doesn't know what we're talking about. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, I, why you? I would I would lean into it. I just changed my last name to Gabagool. 
Like, let's just go yeah. Gabagool for the last name. Be like, all right, great. Or Dadouche in the Gagouche. There's Soprano. Just name your, yeah, t- oh, yeah. yeah, we're changing our Ooh. name to Soprano. Yeah. Or that's Garden. That's a good one. You know? Garden? Yeah. Like the Olive Garden. And it's like, that's real uh, Italian. Where it's just, uh, let's get into it. Uh, let's get wet with it. Yeah. Uh, but all these, all these little fuckers from reality TV are, are just going away. Yeah. Um, from, from the same thing, it seems like. Just embezzling money. Yes. And well, and I think... I think it's a pretty common thing with mm-hmm. people that have a lot of money and they don't want to give it to the government, right? But, but this but, isn't the case. They were taking out thirty million dollars in loans. Exactly, too, because they what? were on a reality TV show in which they had to be rich, right? And that wasn't really how it was going. So they had to, right? Mm-hmm. They had to keep up appearances. Uh, Many of the housewives go down, for example, for this because, and I never understand if you have shit like that in your skeletons like that in your closet, why are you going on a reality TV show? So here's the answer to it. It's always going to come out. There's two answers for this. One, the producers look for people like this because they don't really care what happens to these people where they're just like, great, you don't have the fucking money to do this. How are you going to do it? Yeah, you're going to go to jail. You're going to do some illegal shit. It's great for ratings. Yeah. Um, two, the actual salary for se- like season one of any reality show is always the same. It's usually 10 grand. You get 10 grand an episode. Mm. Um, now, usually that's taxed out of L.A. because most of these production companies are in L.A., so you're dealing with 13.5% for L.A. taxes or whatever. 12 episodes in a season, you're looking at 120 k minus the taxes and all that shit. You're probably down with like to 65 grand at the end of... These fucking shows, no, that is not enough to keep up the appearances of the Chrisleys or any of these other fucking people on right. Bravo. Right. Um, you actually need real rich people for that. Sure. So, like, if you look at uh, homegirl, Lisa Renna. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's married to somebody famous who's on TV for years and years and years, and it's like, all right, great. They've, they've got some money. I think had money for she years. was as well. Wasn't she soap opera forever? Soap or? operas don't really pay that much oh, okay. to live that lifestyle, but, okay. uh, yeah. Yeah, so Harry Hamlin has to keep Keep going to work, right? Well, he got in when the getting was good. So, sure. like, if he invested well, they're fine forever. Uh, now, with Lisa Arena, uh, what I will say is this. For the, the housewives and all that other shit, if the ratings are great, it's kind of like a Marvel movie. A Marvel movie will only pay you 250 grand for the first one. If it does well and you do sequels, that's where the real money's in. So now, because she's on one of the biggest shows there is, they have upped that salary, and I think she gets... Upwards of 150 to 250 a show. So, like, yeah, you're good on that. You know, you're looking yeah. at a couple million dollars a year, but you got to get through those early seasons. And, like, let's face it, the Chrisleys, probably for those first, like, three or four seasons, money wasn't great. Right. Um, and to have that lifestyle and keep up all the shit. Oh, in the first season, they had a 30,000 square foot, you know what I mean? House. Mansion. By yeah. the end, they're in like a townhouse in Nashville. And so it's kind of <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? But, but being like, well, we just want to, you know what I mean? Trying to spin it mm-hmm. in that without saying like, we've lost a bunch of money and we're just trying to get back to like. Oh yeah. Cause otherwise, um, the Chrisleys would be doing a fucking reality show from the Ozarks.